Ladies, again, domestic violence is not a joke. This lady here, Stephanie Beatty, age 22, gunned down December 8th, 2023 in Brockton, Massachusetts. She was shot and killed in a parked car by a man age 39 that was known to her. God bless the family. Damn. Earlier this morning, police say a 22-year-old woman from Norwich, Connecticut, was fatally shot in her car. Police have issued an arrest warrant for 39-year-old Gelson Fernandez of Brockton. Investigators say the couple knew each other. Stop the senseless gun violence killing women left and right. Ladies, get trained and get armed. Ladies, get trained and get armed. And so has her suspected killer, who remains on the run tonight. NBC10's Darren Botello is in Brockton. Darren, what are investigators saying? JC, at this hour, investigators are searching for a 29-year-old man from Brockton who allegedly shot and killed that 22-year-old from Connecticut. And we just got that news a couple hours ago, putting neighbors around here on edge. Somebody was shot right across my house. Investigators are now searching for 29-year-old Jelson Fernandez. He's accused of shooting and killing 22-year-old Stephanie Beatty, found in her car early Friday morning. Our cameras captured a bullet hole in her driver's side window at the second deadly shooting in Brockton within 48 hours. Stop the deadly gun violence. Stop the violence. It's not right and it's not fair. Three o'clock shift, um, and I got woken up before my alarm even hit by my uh, spouse and told me that there was a whole bunch of cops on the street and that the street was blocked. Roberto Baez lives right across Nation Street, where early this morning police say a 22-year-old woman from Norwich, Connecticut, was fatally shot in her car. Police have issued an arrest warrant for 39-year-old Gelson Fernandez of Brockton. Investigators say the couple knew each other. And it was less than 72 hours before when another Brockton man died from gunshot wounds in a separate part of the city. And it was less than 72 hours before when another Brockton man died from gunshot wounds in a separate part of the city. Two homicides in the city within hours of each other bringing the total to six in 2023. This is the second fatal shooting in Brockton within a little bit more than 48 hours. Does that get your attention? Yeah, I did. Well, I know there's a, there's a lot of crime and gangs. John Baldoff moved to Brockton 25 years ago from Texas, but he thinks it's safer today in the city of champions. You could hear guns going off all night, but, but that's back in the 90s, so. You feel safer now? Yeah, yeah, I'm retired. And, you know, we have trying to live my life. Back closer to this morning's fatal shooting, Roberto Baez is ready to welcome a second child to his family. And today's news just across the street has gotten his attention. The fact that it's still happening out here and people are still getting their hands on weapons or whatnot, you know, it's, it's still a scary feeling. And late this afternoon, Brockton police are asking if anyone has any information about those two fatal shootings this week, please contact them. We're live in. I was asleep when I heard the noise. Neighbors watching from their homes on Nason Street as police comb the scene for evidence near Beatty's car with markers on the ground and yellow crime scene tape blocking off parts of these streets. Cell phone video shot by a neighbor shows police rushing to the scene around 1230 in the morning. I just seen police flying down the street and um, I opened my window and 
I just saw police everywhere. The investigation appeared to focus here at the intersection of Nason and Tribu streets, with police looking around with flashlights, inspecting in and around Beatty's car. Investigators say Beatty and Fernandez were, quote, previously acquainted. It's frightening because I'm along with my kids. He's only five years old. We're very worried for the kids. Um, we have four kids. Now with Beatty dead and another man killed after a shooting about a mile and a half away several days ago, some residents here are on high alert. I have a four-month-old upstairs, so I mean, I want to get out of the area. Again, at this hour, police are looking for Fernandez. If you have any information, call police. Live tonight in Brock. God bless Stephanie Beatty, age 22 gun down December 8th, 2023 in Brockton, Massachusetts. This possibly could be domestic violence. God bless the family and friends. Damn. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.